I want a bicycle. And I want to get a bicycle on day two. The problem is, is that in episode one, I only got two jobs done because I spent half the episode clearing this place out. Anyway, I have to get six jobs done today, including the one I got last night. I need to get five jobs done because after five jobs, I'm going to get a bicycle for free. On top of that, it will mean that at the start of day three, I will start with tier two jobs. And that is what I want. Would it be unwise for me to start walking to that place over there during the night on day two when there could be ferals running around whom I would not be able to kill at all? It would be unwise. It would be very unwise, viewer. And that's why I would never- And here I am. I couldn't stop myself. Just in time for morning as well. Might as well wait. Why risk it? And there we go. So, let's clear this place out. So here's the thing. This is only going to take me a tiny amount of time to clear. Just because it is literally two rooms with two zombies in each one. And... I know I'm probably going to have this done before Trader Hugh opens, so I might as well double loot this place. Which isn't something I like to do generally, because it's not worth it, but I genuinely have nothing else to do for the next two. I just missed that shot. There we go. Anyone else? Well, yeah, I know there's generally at least three zombies in here, so there's probably someone, right? No? Maybe behind here? Okay, just one in this room today. Go around the other side here. No dog. Oh, hello, though. She's hiding. I heard you. Come on, let's fight. What? There's another one. I'm going to let my stamina regen, because these guys can hit hard, and if she gets enraged, she's going to start sprinting, and I need... Yeah, she's doing it. I'm going to need to be able to keep her back. Would you just bleed out already? Damn. Right, let's go deal with the other one. Hello. Oh, I can stab you, actually, since you broke this open for me. Thank you. Making my life way easier. Ow! Oh, almost through. Let me heal up really quickly. Okay. Do you want to pick a way to exist, lady? Whoa! Oh, she bled out. <laughs> right, let's grab the loot. Ooh. And also, more importantly, this is what I wanted to see. I guarantee I end up getting a Forge schematic from this. Which would be annoying because in the last episode I bought one. Oh, no, we're good. Right, let me just grab this wood. Some medicine. Nice. Some purified water? No, okay. Come on, mineral water. Oh, nice, I actually got it for once. Right, I think I'm done in here. Let's reset it. Oh, wait. Ah, coffee. Right, let's do this again. Nice, let's go around this side, check if there's a dog. No dog. Arlene hiding up there, though. And I think that's Joe. No, that's not Joe. I don't know what that one's called. Is it Yo? That might be Yo. Ugh, metal chest armor. I do not need that. Stone arrow? No stone arrow on that side, though. Oh, no, anvil schematic. I'll take it. Be helpful later. Right, let's get out of here. We've got 15 minutes to get back to Trader Hughes. Hey, just in time. Well, well, another survivor. I hope you got money. Mm-hmm. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Craft steel spears or ten Molotov cocktails. Hmm. So, Trader Q. Ooh. 340 West Fetch. I'll take that. We want to just cheese as many of those fetches as possible because they... Sell this. Are going to get us that bicycle faster. We're going to dump some stuff in the chest I left outside and I'll see you guys over at this next POI. Ah, okay, it looks like we're being sent to what I call the meth lab because it's like some burned out house with a load of chemistry sets. I assume that's what they were going for. Where are the supplies? Let me grab this real quick. Some glue, nice. Like I said, I don't really care about early game loot. Alpha 20 early game loot is genuinely worthless. Uh, it looks like it's back here. 
Endgame loot in Alpha 20 is good, and in Alpha 20.1 it's looking like Endgame loot is going to be insanely good. Um, I have some pictures on my Discord which you can join in the description. Oh hey, can I not hit that? No. Looks like I'm going to have to kill her. She survived? What are you made of? That really is very rare for uh, the female zombies to have enough health to survive that. This must be a plus 15% woman right there. Oh great. <laughs> Neither of these are great, but I'll take the serrated blade. Extra bleeding on the knife, can't complain. Another close by fetch, let's do that. What do I want to buy from him again? I suppose the AK would be good, but I think I probably want to prioritise just building materials. Oh, feathers would be nice as well. Also, I got a skill point there, what can I put that into? I think it would probably be worth going into 4 agility, and then maybe get 2 points of parkour, since we're already in agility. And then get another point of agility, go into deep cuts, and then maybe pivot into strength so I can get minor 69er and stuff, just so I can make a horde base in time. And then maybe pivot into intellect, and then maybe pivot into perception, because I want to use sniper rifles. This is going to be a whole thing. There's some decent POIs down here. I don't see any tier 5s though. Unfortunate. I see that vulture though. Anyway, we're here at the POI. It is just a fetch, so if I can get in and just steal the bag and leave it, that would be ideal, but sometimes the game just doesn't allow you. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down. That's the worst. Right, well, I'm gonna have to secure the area. This is gonna take ages. Whoa! He came out of nowhere. There we go. He was like bled out to 10 health, so he actually died to that. You good there? <laughs> Just balancing best you can. Right, I don't want to waste ammo on you, so. Nice. Let me heal up really quickly. Where'd that vulture go as well? I want its feathers. Oh, more of you. This is why I hate the town. There's just zombies everywhere, it's annoying. Oh, he bled out. An iron armor schematic, okay. Weird one. <laughs> Quickly snipe him. Oh, he tanked it. There we go. Like I said, I do need some iron arrows to fully one-hit kill every single zombie, but most of them are one-hits. I don't know where that dog is, it's kind of weird. Pipe bomb schematic, nice. Although I will be doing explosives anyway, but you know, it's nice. Let's head down a little bit. Okay, we don't have to do the entire PY at least, but uh, I'm gonna have to clear down this, this area here. No one's in there. Oh, and I'm hungry. One second. Some of that grilled meat. Anyway. Nice, bled out again. More bandages, always welcome. Right, anybody here? Ooh, a passing gas container. I'll grab that really quickly. I don't want to spend too much time here though, so I'm, even though I'm halfway through this POI, I'm just not going to finish it. It's not worth the money you get paid to do it. Okay, seems like I've awoken them above. But I am good to leave. Let me quickly search this car. Apparently this car is meant to be black, but this is definitely grey. We're making good time though. Uh, by about 11 a.m. I'll have had five jobs done. That's not bad going. Truck and shells, yeah. Let's grab fetch. Sell him his armor stuff. Okay, let's go and do this next job. We're making fantastic time so far. Oh, hello. I see a trader Bob over there. Nice. He'll be good for buying it, like motorcycle parts from if I don't get the bundle for tier 3. But I'm not going to run all the way over there for no reason right now. It's not like if he has a motorcycle for sale I can buy it. I mean, 700 dukes. Okay, it's uh, this burnt house. Hopefully this is a really easy loot. Well, okay, looks like we're going up. This is the cheesiest stuff ever, man. This is some big cheese, but they're just not worth actually doing early on. Need more frames.
I want my frames back. Okay, that was any percent speed run of a fetch job, literally like four seconds. Let's get back there. <laughs> Yo, Trader Hugh. Your weapons or drop your drop. Not bad. Batter up five. I'm not using bats, and I'm definitely not using that, so I'll sell batter up to him. The tier one job rewards are kind of bad, but they're still better than the loot you would actually get. Once we get those tier twos unlocked, though, that's when it starts getting interesting. You can start getting, like, actual guns for those. Let's do clear zombies. Gas station one. Is that the one I did this morning? That's not going to be very action packed. <laughs> okay, it's a different gas station. That's good. Okay, let's quickly search this. Sell that. Sell that. Sell all that, basically. Oh, I see a head. Nice. Oh, hello there. Nice. There he is. Grr. Shot him in the arm. And it looks like there's some on the roof as well. Cool. I'll loot this room first. Ooh, semi mod. Does that go on this? Nah, I didn't think so. Nice, some gas, bicycle chassis. Probably sell that. I don't need a bicycle chassis. I don't think I have ever actually crafted a bicycle in Seven Days to Die. And I didn't even use a bicycle until Alpha 20 made them so ridiculously easy to get. Oh! Nice! We'll do some of that later once I've got the Iron Tool schematic then. Still don't have a range, so can't do much. Lead car battery. Right, let's just be careful in case there's a dog out here. Nah, it doesn't look like there is. Yeah, it's all going to be on the roof. It's going to be a vulture, probably. Oh, a chemistry station. Oh, I was expecting to get like a chemistry station schematic. That would have been really nice. Let's get an angle here. Hello. Nice. I love what they did to bows in Alpha 20. It makes early game agility builds viable on Insane. Back in Alpha 19, agility builds basically just didn't work on Insane difficulty because you just couldn't do this. Like, it just didn't work. They would just tank the damage. Right, we got a skill point. Uh, I think I want to do first point into parkour, second point into parkour. Parkour is kind of not the best perk to take very early on, unless you're on Insane Nightmare, in which case it is actually pretty good, but it's a perk that will be interesting to play with, at least. And we're already going agility, so it's already, like, suboptimal. I might as well just have fun with it, right? A wheel, nice, oil schematic, recipe schematic, whatever it is, I don't know. Oil spell, I'm gonna call it that, it's the spell to create oil. Oh, what the fuck? No! Why is there a wolf in the desert? What sense does that make? He made no noise until he was ready. He was re- Oh, he's probably spawning in that POI's radius, right? Ah, idiot. Don't walk through tier 4 POI's. Jeez. That made me absolutely die. See how much damage he did. That's why insane difficulty is still scary. He's gonna come for me, but I'm probably gonna be fine. Oh, he lost aggro. Not on my watch, bro. No one hits me and get away with it. I died to this, I swear I'll actually cry. Reload quick, he's running away. I do like that in Alpha 20 they replaced the wolf AI with um, the coyotes AI, so they have like this attack and run away pattern. Uh, they used to be just like zombie dogs and they would attack unrelenting and it was kind of bad. Oh, I'm hungry. Don't you run away from me, demon! I'll have my vengeance! Oh, that was nowhere near. <laughs> Holy shit, he just tanked all that damage. Right. Get out of my way. I need a better pistol. I used so much healing there, but I think it was justified. <laughs> oh, they need louder footsteps. I'm in here unzipped. Fuck you. Incredible. Ooh, nice. 
And there it is. So, you will always get the bicycle, by the way. This is a guaranteed drop for the tier 1 complete. We could get the food bundle. This will give you 10 of some decent food, like sort of uh, blueberry pie meat stew tier. The three book bundle is literally three random books. The farm bundle is three farm plots and three random seeds. And the ammo crafting bundle will give you enough ammo to craft, I think it's 100 9 mil bullets or 33762. And it'll also give you like 100 buckshot if you want to make shotgun shells instead. But, bicycle. Got any special jobs? Trader Bob to the Reveal. south. Sell him some stuff really quickly. Oh, there's that tier 2 money as well. Okay, let's go see Trader Bob. Because if you look at the jobs here, I'm not going to get tier 2s until tomorrow morning. And I still have plenty of hours left in the day. So we might as well go and see Bob get a little bit of XP for that. And maybe loot something. I don't know. Whenever I do this in my own playthroughs, I usually just kind of run around collecting cobblestone, but I'm not doing a strength build right now, so that's not going to be very fun. So, I'll wait until later to do that when I've got some slightly better tools, for example. Let me put that back on the hotbar. Those pipe bombs are going to come in handy, though. Right, bicycle, let's go. Let's go see Bob. Culture. Oh, he bled out. Where's the other one? Yeah, there you are, you little shit. I hit, but didn't kill him. Really? They have no attack animation, I swear. It's so unfair. Oh, yeah. Come on, you pussy. Come on! Just look away from him and then stab. <laughs> I swear they must have some sort of, oh no, the player is looking at me AI. Because they, if you look at them to try and shoot them, they sort of turn and fly away. So. I've been trying the whole look away, let them think you're not aware of them. Oh, hello Arlene. Hello, fifth vulture. Ow. These things just bleed your health so slowly over time. But there is aloe everywhere, so if I need to heal desperately, I can do that. Actually, let me eat some of this aloe. Fair here. Yo, Bob. Here you go, friend. Whatever you need. What are you selling, Bob? Oh, he's got a motorcycle chassis, as you would expect. I'm not going to bother myself with motorcycle parts right now. Um, they're pretty common in trader inventories, so I'll just leave it. I'll buy the cobblestone, because, again, as I keep saying, I am not running a strength build, so gathering that's going to be slightly annoying. A wooden bow might be nice. You know what? That, that's kind of that's appealing to me. Let's see, has he got any sugar butts? No. I'll just buy it. It's fine. It's a little wooden bow. Kind of shitty, but you know what? It was also kind of cheap. Nice. Yeah, that solves the iron arrow problem. Can I unlock this? No, I don't have any lockpicks. Right, let me mark Bob here on the map. He is the gateway to another town, it looks like. Did I not mark you on my map? That's kind of dumb. Ah, it's nice not having to worry about encumbrance because I have a vehicle. Day 2 bicycle though, now you know how to do it. Ah, home sweet home. Ah, lots of stuff in that box now. Right, let's make some more raw meat into grilled meat, because that's just what I'm eating today apparently. Game hasn't given me a cooking pot anyway, it looks like. Well, to be fair, I've not looted any PYs. Right, let's check the forge here. We've got a little bit of clay in there. We need some more, though. And we can probably tell it to smell out some iron arrows. And this bow is going to be beastly with iron arrows. Oh! Perfection! Right, let me get another storage container. You guys know the rules. Or maybe you don't, if you're new. The rule is, once you fill three of these, you need to get a storage system. That's my rule. I can live with three random storage boxes, but once it comes to four, it's too much. Too much randomness. Too much nonsense. Right. So some people correctly pointed out in the last episode that you can replace the soil with a different type of soil and trees will grow fully. One minor issue with that is it's kind of hard to tell which blocks are made of the new soil. Because if we dig up one here, uh, I'm going to have to dig up two to make one topsoil here. Hang on. So craft a topsoil. Oh wait, can I maybe use dirt? 
Comments, tell me if I can use dirt for this. We'll do our own test here. What does dirt do? The block I was going to make is a block called topsoil, and I know that one definitely works. Let's see if dirt works. Is that different? I can't tell. Uh, I'll need some more clay to test that. Okay, we'll get another dirt block here. I just realized you could use these dirt blocks to make a dirt house like in Minecraft. For some reason it doesn't want to place there. Is there something blocking this hole? No. Okay, is that different? Right. That looks loosely different to me. I can sort of identify that there's a patch there. Let's see. Uh, I'll need some kind of seed. There's one... Oh! There was a vulture living in that tree, apparently. Where did that come from? Oh, there's another one. Get the hell out of here. Now, he just seems to have, a, like, a little a patrol thing. You know, we could test this right now. If we went into debug mode and then pressed, is it insert? We could see what he's doing. What is that vulture doing? Target air. Waypoint somewhere. He's on Wander. This vulture is not currently trying to attack me. I wonder why. Let's see here. I'm not going to be able to hit it with that info up. You press the insert key or zero on your numpad to bring that up with debug mode on, by the way. Oh, let me turn off debug mode. Eh. Why is this vulture like this? I don't want to waste any more of my 9 mil. He's just going to do that forever now. That's just his life. I bet if I get on the bicycle and move like two feet, he'll go into his attack animation. Oh yeah, yeah, that was what he wanted. Ah, but I turned around, he doesn't know. Come on, stop, stop baiting me. Ow. I don't like the vultures can just smash into the floor with no consequences. Oh, infected. How much health have you got? What? <laughs> what were you made of, vulture? Okay. Those problems are all pretty solvable, I'm not too worried. Um... I mean, health is low, but whatever. Eh. Let me go grab some medicine really quickly. Uh, actually, just to make sure. So we cure the abrasion with the first aid bandage or some aloe. I could have actually went and got some aloe. That was a waste. What do we got? What do we got? Got any honey? Don't have any honey. So we got some vitamins for the fatigue, but we might just have to deal with the infection for a hot minute here. Uh, where's that first aid kit? Just eat it. I'd rather save the bandages for, like, small heels. Alright, so I need some antibiotics. We might want to go check Trader Hugh for that. Let me load some iron arrows real quick as well. Yo, Hugh, do you got any medicine? Nah, he's not got any medicine. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Okay, minor problem infection, but really that is, as I said, a minor problem. It will take a very long time to have any effect on me. And the Trader inventories will reset on day 4, and they have a 25% chance to have an antibiotic in there. So we're probably fine. All right, I'm back at the base. It's almost night time. I think I'm about to end the episode here. I'll make some iron arrows. Uh, let me know in the comments if this dirt works. I've never tested it. This is the first time I've really tried to survive in a desert biome. Um, in the next episode, we'll do some tier two jobs. And I'll make sure to gather all the cobblestone and stuff as I go. Although I really need wood. That is going to be the big issue for this series, I think. And with that, episode 2 of Desert Ranger is done. Be sure to let me know if you're enjoying the series so far. And of course, if anybody knows about the dirt thing, let me know. Don't worry about the infection, because this game is ridiculously easy with those types of things. As I said earlier in the episode, you can join my Discord in the description. Um, you'll get notified of uploads and live streams and all that good stuff. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. And of course, if you're new here and you're on episode 2 of this series, and you enjoyed it so far... Why not hit that subscribe button? Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Desert Ranger.